Roy. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I'm going to need the assistance of a gentleman from the audience, not just anybody, but a gentleman who had the common decency to wear a lovely jacket. I've been scanning the crowd since I walked out here. Where's he? He's a, a gentleman seated right there. Can you help me out, sir? Round of applause as he makes his way to the great stage. Your name? Jonathan. Jonathan, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Mike, the master of illusion. <laughs> That's a good one. Jonathan. Yes. I've already explained why I selected you. I need to borrow a coat. I'm hoping I can use yours. What do you say? It's okay? Sure. Slide out of the coat. Normally, I would use my own coat, but it's really busy. <laughs> okay. I will take this coat. Oh, that's ideal. That's perfect, Jonathan. I'd like you to jump up here in the seat of honor. Make yourself comfortable right up there. Lovely jacket. Both feet on the front. Excellent. Oh, knees together. Knees together. Okay. Show business. Okay. All right. Hold on right here. Hold on right here. Mm -hmm. Right hand here. Right hand here. You're not from around here, are you, Jonathan? <laughs> Where you come from? I'm actually from Westwood. Westwood? Yes. Yeah, so. Lovely part of the county. <laughs> Hilarious Westwood. Uh-huh. I couldn't agree more. Left hand goes over here, Jonathan. Okay. UCLA boy, is that right? Yeah. Just as I thought. Little mind reading, no additional cost. Eyes straight ahead, you look like a million bucks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to thank Jonathan from coming all the way from Westwood so that I might demonstrate for you the ancient and seldom seen art of hypnotism. Now, most of you probably think that in order to become a hypnotist, it requires years and years of practice and study. Well, recently, I have discovered that after only a couple evenings of trial and error, the basics of hypnosis can be learned by any idiot. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. Jonathan, I will count backwards from five to one. As I do, you will fall into a deep hypnotic trance. Five, four, your eyelids are getting heavy. Three, two, buckle my shoe, one, sleep. Jonathan has fallen into a deep hypnotic trance. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. To prove my complete control over him, Jonathan, look me in the eye. Like a robot, he obeys my every command. As further proof, I am going to attempt an experiment using a small square of newspaper. A small square of newspaper, this pair of cuticle scissors, and Jonathan's coat. Now what I'll do is take these scissors, run them right through the back of the coat like this. You'll see them come ripping through right about here. Would you like to see that? Oh, that's fine. Uh -huh. Sleep. Now, I do think it's interesting to note that under normal circumstances, this would enrage the owner of the coat. But because Jonathan is in a deep cataleptic trance, he'll find this whole thing rather laughable. OK, Jonathan, hold on right here. Hold on right over here. Watch those scissors go right through the middle of the coat like that. Notice the only expression on his face is one of amusement. Now, of course, the blade of those scissors, they make only a tiny hole in the material. Uh-huh. You see, it's when I pull the handle of the scissors through the lining, you'll actually hear the material as it mends itself back together. Listen to the magic. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, bummer. Deep, deep. I got hung up on the line. I can fix that. A little extra squeeze is all it takes. And ladies and gentlemen, that coat is just as good as new. It worked. You are in a deep hypnotic trance, Jonathan. Stay right there. You can come out of your trance. Yes, I had better get him out of this trance before we go any further. Now this, the heck? You got a hole in your pocket. <laughs> you folks stop off for dinner on the way down to the show tonight. Ah, not to worry. Snap out of it, pal. Don't worry about the spoon. Everybody does it. Oh, come on, one lousy spoon. You do the same thing you're, the heck? 
Looks like you got a matched set in there, pal. I, can't... I think he's got service for eight in this thing. This is more than just a hobby with you, isn't it, Jonathan, huh? Well, I guess that's everything. Whoa! <laughs> this guy's got everything in there but the kitchen sink. You didn't expect the kitchen sink to fall out of there. Whoa! Well, Jonathan, I'm kind of surprised you didn't pick up one of those nice water pit... Water pitchers, I stand corrected, my friend. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You set quite a table there. Jonathan, you mind if I serve dinner? All right. Who ordered the chicken? Hup! That's it! Come on down here, Jonathan. Take that coat. Put it there, my friend. A big hand for Jonathan. A big hand for Jonathan's chicken. I'll see you later.